Hello, folks. Um, we'll get started in just a minute here. Meeting notes are in Zoom. The call is being recorded. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, it's Ben. Is this Ben? Yeah, sorry. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Well, it may just be us today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. What do we have? I can share my screen. Can you all see the screen? Should be the I do. working group notes. <clears throat> all right. Welcome back, uh, Jeffrey. Can't hear you if you're talking, Jeffrey. I see you're unmuted, but. No audio. Still nothing. I hear you now. Nice to be back. Sorry for the uh, absence. Now that daylight savings time is rolled around, I don't have a standing conflict like I did before. Yeah, and you have a new job. Understandable. Had to work it all out. <clears throat> Glad to have you. Um, let's see. So, uh, was there a meeting last week? That was out. <clears throat> no, I guess it was canceled. I um, jumped on, but nobody else was there. And then I saw in the notes that it was pushed a week. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, we had elections uh, close to this time last year, and we need to look at elections for chairs. Jeffrey, Ian, and I are the current co-chairs. And... We got some rules here around it, but anybody can submit themselves if you think someone else is a would be a good chair for this group, then talk to them and have them submit for themselves. But you can feel free to recommend people. 
we just want people to have the time and want to do it if they're going to be a chair. Let's see, daylight savings. So I guess EU time change is on the 27th. So that'll be better for you, Ben, I guess, whenever it shifts. Right now it's further apart. Yeah. Are you plus UTC plus eight right now? Or seven? Oh, I'm sorry, you're not that far. Plus two. No, plus two. I'm you. you plus, two. Plus, plus two. All right. Plus seven, I think, is pretty far up. <clears throat> it's India. Yeah, there you go. And some others. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm get into the APAC times. Okay. Um, KubeCon coming up. And we have quite a few submissions for Cloud Native Telco Day that have been worked through and looking forward to that event. I think it's going to be a good thing for the CNCF KubeCon timing. Um, CFPs are open for Open Source Summit EU, and I, I'm, I would think Sorry. that, go ahead. Yeah. So Taylor, I just wanted to ask, I, uh, it turned out that I will be in Valencia for, for KubeCon Europe, uh, and um, will we have some kind of an event, okay, which is like for this working group, or someone else will be there outside of me, physically? I, I'm not sure um, if there will be an event or any session. We have had them in the past. The Cloud Native Telco Day is kind of the biggest thing related to telecom that's uh, for CNCF at the event. Right now, there's nothing planned specifically for the working group. Okay. All right. I'm just going to work from the top down. Uh, this is just a, is this a merge? Just a pull request to change. All right. That's an easy. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Dang it. Let's try that again. Squash. Merge. Is Victor on the call? Yeah, Taylor, I'm here. Hey, Victor, you want to talk about this one? Well, it's just like a tradition of uh, the the recent um, vulnerability discover. So basically, in the non-root best practice that we have, just adding more material for supporting that case. All right. I don't see a problem with that. Just adding a reference. What about everyone else on the call?
This is about the non-root best practice, and this is a notice on a security issue, essentially saying it'd be good to not have root or less privileges. Yeah, I looked at it, I saw it, and I, I thought it was, you know, it's, it's a great pointer. I think we had like, not just the CV, but we had like, right, like three others within like a month which had the same, uh, I wouldn't say the same root cause, but they had the same attack angle and um, and all of them would have been prevented if the container was not running in root uh, mode. Therefore, the new, these are all things which are, you know, just <laughs> confirming the, uh, uh, what we say that running is non-root uh, containers is the best pract uh, practice. Sounds good. Um, would you add a review or a plus one on that? Ben? Sure. Um, sure. Uh, slash Ben. What is that? Sla my uh, my ID is slash. Uh, no, you don't. Ben. B E N. B E N slash BEM. Maybe it's you're not available as a reviewer. I think in order to see him uh, in that list, you mm -hmm. have to only make a, a, a quick comment in the PR. Oh, OK. I can also add. I, I, I put my, uh, my GitHub handle in the chat. Yeah, I got it. Um, the problem is you don't have access mm. for me to just pitch you on that main list. I think this is enough. For now, I can't remember what's required. You'll have to accept it though. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, All of I've accepted that. Oliver, um, can you give a thumbs up or do you object? Yeah, to sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, I'll give a thumbs up. I just uh, <laughs> couldn't get myself off a of mute there. No problem. All right, everybody on the call can give it a thumbs up and then we can merge this unless you object. Is there anyone that objects <clears throat> to adding a reference? Okay, go give your thumbs up. Everyone on the call is now a reviewer. I'm gonna go on to the next one. Uh, a mouse is messing up. It's jumping all over. All right. Um, this is enough for linting fixes. <clears throat> Typos, whatever else. CI jobs. Okay. All right. That's enough on that one. Thanks, Sean.
depending by. You're good with this, Victor? Sorry, uh, that's uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just. All right, yeah. I'm going to merge it. If you're okay with it, I'll just merge it. It's just tooling for the group. All right. All right, Ben, we're back to one of yours. Yeah. Configuration best practice for Kubernetes system components. Um, what do we have new that hasn't been addressed? Yeah, so there is, um, so I, and I told, I wrote here in one of the notes that, that I know that I need to move, uh, you know, this to um, another place, okay, another format, okay, to be in the same format as all the other best practices. I'm just wanted to finish all the, you know, all the comments and all the, close the, all the content related stuff, okay, and, and the formal things I, I want to leave at the end, okay, because just I don't want to, you know, um, break the comments and stuff. Uh, so, um, so I think that, uh, uh, yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't seen the latest, uh, comment on, on, on the, this question of the uh, ABAC, um, um, questions. Okay. Uh, I really wanted, you know, just to highlight here in this part, the, uh, the, the differentiation mm -hmm. from my point of view between ABAC and RBAC. Okay, that that in ABAC you need to you know configure things through uh, files and, and and in RBAC you can configure uh, um, it through the API. Um, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to incorporate okay the the latest things and I hopefully okay I will move the the, the files tomorrow. I, hopefully I will have it ready by next meeting for 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 uh, um, accepting this. I don't think that there are too many open questions of left. You, you gave a couple options, so see what Ian says on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I had great comments, okay. I was happy, okay, about uh, all the things, you know, you've mentioned and most are already closed because things were to, uh, comments were to the point and, you know, I, I could work with them. I think this one can be resolved. Okay. Don't worry about that one. It yeah. makes sense. All right. <clears throat> Other than those changes, I'm good with all of it. I'm going to click re review for everybody and then. Yeah, again, I, I know I need to move the file itself, okay, because it wasn't in yeah. the right place and right format, okay. Mm -hmm. I actually I haven't done this before, but I think that if if I'm moving the file, um, and then I'm I'm going I'm afraid I'm going to lose all these inline comments. Is that, well, this is the reason why I haven't moved it yet. You won't lose the inline comment, and if anyone makes a suggest change and you accept them, then it'll also be fine. So these will stay. You need to make sure that you work on 
do your changes in your branch here. Yeah. So if, if you go in this one and you move the file, when you do a commit after the move and push it up, it will automatically update the pull request. Yeah, that, that's right. I already that, that thing I already did. Um, a, a file directory change shouldn't affect the comments. Okay. Just go in, move it, commit your changes to your branch, and it's just tracked as one of many changes, okay. right? Oh, okay. So awesome. it's not going to move like release it if you like completely like started a new branch and just copied and pasted a file in there but you just need to like actually go into how it's committed and change the directory like that and then it'll all be tracked awesome will do <clears throat> what's remaining on this other than, well, it's a whip, so. Mm. Hey, Taylor. Yeah. I've got to jump at half past the hour give a quick update on the um let's move down to to yours then because this is the one we've been waiting on <laughs> yeah so i just had a couple questions um i've got some things it seems like mostly um some misunderstanding of certain definitions so i'm going to go in and um create those i guess like the main thing is is should i put like a glossary at the bottom of this or just kind of weave the um definition throughout um, and then there was one um, comment by Pankaj. I, if we go down to that, I don't know if people want me to remove some of the additional context or. Um, <clears throat> I think that, let's go back. <clears throat> The ones that have had um, some extra information, it was at the top, like this one, glossary, life management, evolved processes, all of these things. So this is this is on the use case side, but I don't I don't see it as a problem to follow this for the user stories given people some context before they. I might pick and choose some of it then like, because the use case, um, it has a substantial the bigger assumption of like what's gonna be put into it. Where like we said, user stories were kind of supposed to be short and sweet so people can get stuff yeah. in. Um, but I'll put the glossary at the top, but just put some of the definitions in. Yeah, whatever is, um, causing problems, just add it to the top. And of course, if there's anything, um, see this one also has it. Uh, if there's anything that you think could go into the global glossary, then it can also go there and we just link it from this user story doc. And also, of course, the CNCF glossary project, as Victor pointed out. But starting with something in this doc sounds good. Yeah, there's a few things. Like, I was kind of surprised I needed to add um, definitions for, but I'll do it. Put a little glossary at the top and then see if there's things. I mean, air gap probably should be added to the bigger glossaries and then just link to just because that's a common thing. But I feel like upstream and source, most people know what that means. So I'll just add something for context into this specific 
user story. Well, Jeff, uh, you don't have to worry. I mean, I'm going to um, propose that definition in the glossary. So yeah, we can resolve that. No, most of it was from like Pankaj's questions. So, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> but I mean, anybody should be able to come and read these. So if people in our own group are like, what does it mean when you say upstream, then I should assume other people will have those questions. So, but I don't think like, you know, defining upstream in one of the bigger glossaries probably makes a lot of sense, just what it means specifically in this uh, use case or user story, I mean. Yeah, that's my main question. So I'll try to get this wrapped up before next week at the glossary section and just clean some stuff up. So then hopefully we can get this guy um, out of the PR phase. All right. Well, um, guess that's it. Uh, the other, well, I guess we can go through this one, but top, you're at half an hour. So um, we'll see what you have next week, Jeffrey, and I'm sure we'll be following up some this week to catch up on things. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. So this one is about what do you do when, when a best practice is not going to work for you and the end user, the one consuming these CNFs or whatever the software is, isn't following a best practice. And the idea is we want to communicate to them um, anything that's an exception and why it's an exception so that they can make adjustments on their side. Um, important examples would be security. If they're expecting things to follow some security best practice and it's not, uh, they need to know how it's being handled. Okay, um, Victor, you have a small edit. Oh, that's a, that sounds good to me. And also, Taylor, can you retitle uh, that PR? I mean, at least remove the working in progress um, label. It seems like uh, it is ready to review, so. Okay, I'll do that. This one was never responded to. Don't most CNF operation have to be compliant? This has to be validated. Um, I don't know. I mean, I. I guess this would be like ops best practices, the same as CNFs. But I think we're saying anything following best practices. So the operation of a CNF or its behavior is kind of all related. If. If there, it could be clarified, then I think I'd rather Pankai do a suggest edit. And this has been said a few times. And, um, yep, and again there, and again there. What do we have here? I'm gonna commit this. That was just clarifying based on his words. That one's resolved. Commit a, wait, hold on. 
if your team builds a component used, used in NFE or operates, if your component is an NFE, yeah, this is not agreed. Ian doesn't agree to this, an NFE. I'm going to not do that one. Yeah. Okay, that's true. I'm going to not commit that one because Ian disagreed two weeks ago. There's some grammar there. More grammar. Leave that to Ian. Can we make this? What is this? Preventing delivery of components. Huh. I don't know. We didn't list them number one, two. They're just a bullet list with no priority. <clears throat> Teams to deliver components that are good enough, even if they cannot, are not perfect. I kind of, agree. Well, actually that has a pretty significantly different meaning. We could, there can be situations where something, actually cannot be done to follow a best practice because it would break something else. Um, and that's different from it's currently not following a best practice, but may be able to change. So I'm not going to put that. In fact, I'll just comment. And let's see, I'm going to ignore the those compliance list. Because it's related to the list or whatever's being suggested. Also, some wording that Ian needs to review. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The mitigations aren't there, but I think that's it. If anyone else wants to add some comments or say if they like, like it well enough. There you go, Victor. Where are you paying everybody? Okay. And that's it. We've made it through the pull request. Is there anything else? <laughs> uh, well, I just let a few comments uh, directly to, to Ben. So um, that's regarding uh, because the change that he's meeting is required to have another additional words in the work list. So don't forget to include them in your PR. In, in this, Victor? 
No, just just put those comments directly. Um, so Ben, if you haven't seen them in the chat, so I, I mean, it's or I don't know if I have to put them as well in the in the PR. So. Oh, okay. So uh, you mean in the descri description is missing or sorry, didn't catch that. Oh, well, it's, it is in the Zoom chat. Uh, so I send a private message, but uh, yeah, I can also include, uh, let me include it in the, the PR to just to keep it everything open. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, I see it now. Victor, I'd, if, if it's, I would definitely add it into the PR, at least mm -hmm. as a comment. Okay, I, I will add it. All right, y'all. Um, is there anything else? Okay, well, we will stop there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day.